In this video, I'll show you how to set up Tailwind CSS in a Next.js project. First, I'll show you the absolute quickest way to use Tailwind CSS in a Next.js project if you're starting from scratch. I'll scaffold a brand new Next.js project with npx create next app, and I'll use one of the existing examples with dash dash example, and use the one called with Tailwind CSS. That's basically a pre-made installation of Next.js that comes with everything wired up to use Tailwind CSS. I'll name my project Next with Tailwind CSS. That's it, my project is ready to go. I'll start the dev server with npm run dev. And here's my homepage, which happens to be styled with Tailwind CSS. Among other things, this scaffold has installed Tailwind CSS, created a Tailwind config file with properly configured content sources, and defined the three Tailwind directives in the CSS file that's imported globally in the app layout. That means Tailwind utilities can be used everywhere in this project, and you can see an example of that on the homepage. Okay, now if you'd like to set up Tailwind CSS manually, I'll walk you through the steps to do that. Once again, I'll start a brand new project with npx create next app. I won't use an example this time, and I'll call my project next Tailwind CSS. Next, I'll install Tailwind CSS and its peer dependencies with npm install d Tailwind CSS, post CSS, and auto prefixer. Next, I need to create a Tailwind config file, which is where I can customize things like my theme's colors, font sizes, or spacing scale, as well as define what files Tailwind should look for in my project to generate the CSS. I can create that config file with npx Tailwind CSS init, and I will add the dash p flag to also generate a post CSS config file so that Next can process Tailwind correctly. Here's the Tailwind config file. The theme key is where you can do a lot of customizations, but for now I need to configure my content sources. Like I mentioned, Tailwind needs to know where I'll be using Tailwind classes in this project, so it can scan those files to generate the CSS we're actually using. In Next.js, the markup typically will happen in this pages directory. You can see there's an index.js page here, so I could tell Tailwind to look at this file by adding slash pages slash index.js in the content array. But what if I add a contact.js file for my project? Well, I could add a pages slash contact.js file in my array. As you can imagine, that would become quite tedious to list every file individually. You'd need to come back in the config file every time you create a new file in your project. Luckily, the content configuration supports glob patterns, which means you can use some wildcard characters to catch multiple files. I can replace index with a star here, and then remove the second path, since the star will catch every .js file in the pages directory. What if I had another file in pages slash about called me.js? This would not be caught by the star wildcard looking at the file name, since we moved up one directory. I can cast a wider net by adding slash double star, which will match anything in this directory, as well as in subdirectories. That will catch about slash me.js, but also about slash team slash design slash james.js. Anything within the pages directory and with the .js extension will be matched. Now, what if I have about slash me.jsx or .ts if I'm using TypeScript? Well, you can also use curly braces to match multiple strings. So here we could add jsx, ts, and tsx. What goes in this content array might be different for your particular project, so make sure that you include the path to all files in your project that contain Tailwind classes. Matter of fact, let's add something else. A very common pattern in Next.js is to have a components directory with reusable components for a project. So in my content array, I'll add the components directory, and once again look at every file with the extensions of JS, JSX, TS, and tsx. Next, I'll open the existing globals.css file in the styles directory and replace this CSS with the three Tailwind directives, base, components, and utilities. Finally, I'll replace the content of the homepage with an h1 tag that says hello world. Everything should be ready now. I'll start the dev server to verify, npm run dev. Here's my homepage and I'll add some Tailwind utilities Text 3XL, yep. Font bold, underline. Looks like everything's working. 